Chef Buff Army, I'm going to answer one of the most important questions when it comes to training and nutrition. How many grams of protein do you need to eat in a day in order to optimally grow? This is a controversial question because if you consult the internet, you'll find all sorts of different answers. Anywhere from half a gram per pound of body weight, upwards to two, three, maybe even four grams if you read the supplement magazine. However, I'm going to cut through all the bullshit and give you the straight goods today. I want to make a couple key points in this video. The first is that the word need is the most important when defining your protein intake. You see, you're not a sedentary individual. You're someone that hopefully trains several times a week. And thus, most of the studies done on protein consumption is not or are not relevant for you. To further clarify, a lot of the studies done on protein intake revolve around what's the necessary intake in order for your body to function properly. This means what's the protein intake you need to have right now so you won't die from malnourishment of a protein deficiency. That's not relevant to us. We're trying to figure out what's the optimal intake for you in order to build size. For such an important fundamental question of training, you'd be surprised at how little research has been done on the topic. This is why you have registered dietitians constantly giving a lower protein intake recommendation for every single individual, regardless if you're exercising or not. Since a lot of the research is not relevant to us, and perhaps not all the research necessary to make it a definitive statement has been done, we have to be very cautious when we recommend about protein intake. Because if you left it up to the supplement industry, everyone would be having, you know, 4 grams per pound of body weight. We would be buying a whole shitload of whey protein powder. It's not necessary. If you want to know what the studies do show, the minimum intake in order to synthesize new muscle and what guys like Alan Aragon, Lyle McDonald, other experts, what they recommend, it's always roughly around 0.75 grams per pound of body weight of protein. This is an excellent starting base. For a 200 pound individual, this would mean roughly 150 grams of protein per day. However, the key point that guys like Lyle would make is that protein intake can be increased without any detrimental effects. What I mean is that you can eat one gram per pound of body weight, 1.5 grams per pound of body weight, even two grams per pound of body weight with no negative effects on your body. As long as you're eating already enough carbs and fats, having a higher protein intake is completely acceptable and in fact encouraged. I mean one of the biggest bullshit myths of all time was that protein intake or having a higher protein intake is bad for your kidneys. This is simply not the case. If a cautious estimation of how much protein you need is roughly 0.75 grams per pound of body weight, what most authors would actually recommend is roughly one gram or above. Personally, what I always recommend for every single individual is roughly one gram per pound of body weight as a starting base. You can increase it from there. Me, personally, I roughly consume between 1.25 grams to 1.5 grams of protein on a daily basis per pound of body weight. I think another key point that I want to make is about the quality of the source of protein that you consume. One of the most common arguments by most supplement companies when it comes to protein intake is that you need one that is 100% complete amino acid profile. With regards to amino acid profile, animal sources of protein are superior. However, the quality of the protein source you consume isn't nearly as relevant when you're consuming such a large quantity of protein. I mean, if you're a vegan and let's say the only protein you get is an incomplete source like brown rice, then you definitely have a problem. The practical translation of what I'm trying to say here is you don't need six scoops of whey protein every single day to grow. Eggs work just fine, chicken, beef, whatever you want. The key point in this video is that protein research is not yet thorough enough to definitively say for someone that's an athlete or someone that's training hard how much protein you should consume in a day in order to optimize muscle growth. However, by piecing together some of the more relevant pieces of information from some studies as well as consulting anecdotal evidence from coaches, you can easily see that consuming let's say one gram per pound of body weight of protein is a very safe and easy consumption for most individuals and it's enough to assist in muscle growth guys that is the video i hope i cleared up this protein debate now let's focus on the real important shit training hard and lifting with intensity make sure to like share with friends and subscribe and i'll be seeing all you guys in the next video